our own genesis, the enlightenment of all humanity, a revelation of our nature as written in the annals of history, a gift from Lucifer, the light bringer, the morning star, and the rebel. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Not long after, he was forced to create hell, domain for the fallen angel who dared disobey him. The angel was Lucifer, the light bearer, but he would soon become known by a more sinister name, Satan, the devil. He is the nightmare that visits our darkest hours, the phantom that calls in the middle of the night. From nearly the dawn of the universe to this very day, Satan is believed to roam the earth, vowing to destroy man. Where there is light, Satan brings darkness. Where there is peace, he wages war. Where he finds love, he ushers in hate. He is said to take on many forms to fool us. But in his most demonic role, Satan has been the keeper of the darkness, the evil that lurks just around the corner and deep within our souls. Join us as we tell the terrifying tale of the evil creature that has hunted humans since the beginning of time, Satan, Prince of Darkness. You've heard the song Highway to Hell, but would you drive on it? Uh, if you live in Casa Grande, you may already be doing it. The Satanic Temple of Arizona just adopted a stretch of highway along the I-10. Team 12's Monica Garcia. Has the invocation started by David Soar, a representative of the Satanic Temple, and the crowd recited the Lord's Prayer. It got so out of control, City Council President Charles Bear put a stop to it and asked those who were disrupted to leave city chambers. I'm not a religious person, but I think it's absolutely ridiculous. This man can show up in July in an October outfit, October 31st outfit, and act like a fool and, and rush. Come on, man. We're, I, I agree. We're, okay. we're giving you're, a lawful order to leave, okay? And things got worse. It is done. There. He does read the Bible, obviously, because he's got a Bible verse in his hand. And so, if somebody's representing, not representing Jesus, but representing Satan and wants to invoke curses, that's why you have such a representation of people coming based on the Word of God. But David Sword says, he only wants one thing. Is adopt some damn rules. Quit pandering for votes. Quit pushing Christian privilege, as we've seen with the Bayview Cross and so many other issues. And instead, go to a moment of silence and let everybody pray or not according to their own conscience. No one thing Council President Barr did say he agreed with David Sur on is to make sure that the council has guidelines moving forward with who needs to give the invocation before every city council meeting. Catrice Nolan, News 5. The council invocation has been given by a variety of religious denominations over the years. Churches and church leaders sign up to get on the schedule to lead the prayer before each meeting. Meanwhile, the Satanic Temple, that's based in Salem, Mass., is encouraging its followers to find Christian bakers and ask them to bake cakes honoring the Prince of Darkness as a show of support for gay couples who've been denied cakes for weddings. 
A holy war of words and statues in Oklahoma as a New York-based satanic temple has a design for a monument the church wants to put on the state capitol grounds right next to a Ten Commandments monument. The statue depicts a demonic goat figure with statues of children at its feet would also be designed for people to sit on. Needless to say, this idea isn't sitting well with lawmakers. He has been called many names. He has taken many strange and different forms. The idea of God's evil enemy has been around for thousands of years. And it's still as powerful as ever. Evil is real, and it must be opposed. A small Minnesota town is getting a lot of attention for a satanic monument coming to a veterans park. The monument is going up for the satanic temple will be the first satanic monument on public property in U.S. history. The city of Belle Plaine is allowing the monument to be built after a religious freedom group threatened to sue over another statue that features a soldier praying over a grave marked with a cross. Get away from me, Satan. I worship the Lord, my God, and serve him only. 